tomorrow will officially mark the anniversary of the Iowa River, Creston, Coralville, and Iowa City, where flood mitigation and recovery projects are underway at the University of Iowa, Iowa City, and still in Coralville. That's where we find CBS 2 News reporter Brittany Borgie, who brings a look at how these projects keep growing to protect the area. Brittany. Tiffany, this pump station here behind me is just one of 10 that the city of Coralville has installed along the Iowa River, Clear Creek behind me over here, and Biscuit Creek as well. Add to that a series of berms and dams as well as $10 million in projects yet to come. And that's pretty comforting for the folks who were hit hardest by the floods of 2008 here on the Coralville Strip. So for you guys six years ago, uh, what was the experience like when the, when the flood hit? Sucked. I mean, it was just, it was a mess. It was a stinking mess. That was then. Now it's hard to imagine the vine patio as anything but relaxing. But the 2008 water line on the windows is a reminder. Six years ago, these people would have been underwater. Vine general manager Dan Wilkerson says it was people like these who got the vine growing again. And I mean, it was amazing how many people we had coming in bringing sandwiches to us, you know, and people stopping in and helping out, you know, whatever you could. So I was. I I was really uh, impressed, though, just the way everybody helped out each other, everybody else. And after floods in 1993 and 2008, he trusts that Coralville's system will work. You know, each time after those floods, the businesses um, you know, trusted in the city to provide protection, and they came back and they reinvested in this area. And so we want to make sure that they stay here. That means adding more protection to the mix. Next year, Coralville will raise 5th Street above Biscuit Creek. In 2016 and 17, the city will build a series of removable and permanent flood walls along Clear Creek between 1st Avenue and Highway 6. We feel really good about where we're at, and uh, we'll just be even more excited in 2017 when we're done. I, I say it's a good thing. I mean, right, really, right now, once they get this all done, if, uh, if it goes over there, then it's going to be uh, a real bad flood. Holderness says that Coralville has been very aggressive in pursuing funds for all of these projects. Much of the money comes from the Iowa uh, flood mitigation sales tax. Covering the corridor in Coralville, Brittany Borgie, CBS 2 News.